Multisim is highly customizable and allows you to change almost anything about the environment you're working in. I'm going to show you how to use the global preferences in Multisim to modify aspects of your workspace. From the toolbar, go to Options, Global Preferences. Global Preferences allow you to configure your Multisim environment. These preferences are common to every project that you will be working on with your computer. Under the Paths tab, you can change the location of the master, corporate, and user databases, and your user configuration file. Knowing the location of your user configuration file is handy if you use Multisim on more than one computer, or if you are going to change computers. All you have to do is note where the user configuration file is located on your computer by looking at this path. Go to that folder on your computer and transfer your user configuration file to the new computer to load your preferences. Under the Parts tab, you can specify what action to take once you have placed a part. Modifying these preferences to whatever you prefer can make placing parts faster and ultimately makes you more efficient. In the General tab, you can specify mouse wheel behavior, wiring options, and the language. I recommend playing around with these options on a test circuit and seeing what you prefer. Finally, under the Simulation tab, you can specify what to do when a netlist error occurs, and whether the background color on graphs will be black or white. So that covers the basics of Global Preferences. I didn't go through all the tabs, but it is a good idea to look through them for yourself and tailor your workspace to your taste. Being able to customize your Multisim workspace can make designing a circuit faster and ultimately makes you more productive.